Well, today's video is going to be a little bit different than some of the things that we've been doing on this truck. Um, we're going to roll fenders. So we found out, as you can see, I got a lot of room here inside the bed, but we found that I have two options. I can roll the fenders with a hammer and a dolly, or I can cut the axle and shrink the axle in a little bit. Now, I only need about a half an inch to clear on both sides. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to hammer and dolly these fenders, how to get them to roll in. So let me bring it a little bit closer, kind of show you what's needed to be done. So really all we need is a couple hammer and dollies. Now this is kind of a, a claw hammer. Uh, we got kind of a ball peen and a flat. Then we have a round disc, the flat side. And then we have the shoehorn. This is probably my most popular one. We'll be using this one a lot. So let me take you under here and show you the fender and what we actually have to do. So now what I try to do is I position the camera in the best way that I can to show you this lip. Now what I had to do is there's an inner fender that we've already cut out. This little lip right here, when the rim is sitting right here, it's very, very close. And then when it lays all the way out, the tire actually just kind of rests right here. But what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to roll this fender so that it comes up and then it sits against this. Now the, pe the reason you want to do that, you don't want to just cut it because if you cut it, you take all the strength away. Uh, you can cut it and kind of bend it back and forth, but when you roll it like this, it gives you that ability to keep the rigidity and the strength there, but you can get rid of this lip. So if you look right there, it's about at an inch, I would say, that we're going to roll it up. So let me reposition the camera and kind of show you what we're needing to do to get that to where it needs to be so that it's flat against this panel. So this is what I'm gonna do. I repositioned you on a different camera tripod and I'm gonna set the camera down like this. Okay, to give you that angle so you can kind of see what I'm actually doing. Uh, first thing I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use my, kind of my wishbone, I guess you call this a horseshoe, and then my flat hammer with a ball peen. Now I like to start in the middle and just kind of work my way out and that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put my, because there's no inner fender, I could put the horn uh, dolly on this side. If there was an inner fender you would have to do it just the opposite the way that I'm doing it. But since that's cut out, it's pretty easy and all I have to do is start in the middle, just kind of work my way up. Now it's going to get kind of loud and noisy so I may just fast forward through this area because you can't really hear me as I'm talking anyway. I'm gonna grab that phone real quick and I'll come right back. So I put you guys on a different tripod here. Now what I did is I just kind of rolled it like this. And what we're trying to do is we wanna, we wanna roll it like this, okay? So we wanna go all the way down like this to here and then we wanna come all the way down here and go all the way back and then come all the way back. Because if you don't, what will end up happening, if you just roll this all the way tight, you roll this all the way tight, roll this all the way tight, what ends up happening is you start to get a buckle. And we don't want that. What we want is it to basically get the fender rolled a little bit at a time, come back here a little bit at a time, then we'll start in the middle and we'll roll a little bit more, and we'll roll a little bit more this way. So I'm just going to kind of fast forward through this next clip, but I just want to show you how to do that. So now that I've kind of rolled it a little bit further, I'm going to come down here a little bit further and I want to try to roll it to about right here if I possibly can. I'm going to kind of get them to where they're all like this and then at the end then I'll go through and I'll kind of get them all nice and straight. Now we still will have to do some body work on this to get that body line really nice and crisp again, but we have to roll this fender. There's no, we don't have no options here because the, the tire sits right on that and we have to do this so anyway i'm gonna kind of go through this and i'll come back in a couple minutes
Okay, so once this is all done, and I've got it rolled pretty good, now I did lose a little bit of my body line contour. It really isn't that big of a deal to me because I know how to fix it. Depending on your car, you may lose this edge right here. All you need is a standard auto body clamp, and you just set it right here like this, clamp it down, and just bring your body line back in. Very, very simple to do. Not a lot you have to really worry about. I mean, I still will sand this down, you know, and re-mud work it and paint it and whatnot, but for the most part, that brings your body line right back. Very easy to do. And it also lays the inside fender flat. You do need a couple tools to bring it back, but for the most part, you can do it without scratching the paint at all. All this right here is just dirt from the body hammer. So there you have it. That's how you roll fenders. That body, that body line's pretty much right back to where it was. I'll do a little bit more hammering it out off camera. But that's how you roll fenders. Alright guys, so I hope you learned something from the video how to roll fenders. We still have quite a bit more fabrication work to do on the axle. What we did is we basically pulled the axle in, kind of set it in position just to get our triangulated four link into position and know what we needed to do. We did have to trim out the bed a little bit more to get all of our um, all of our hardware to mount up, but this whole bed is going to transform as we build this. There's going to be a big glass window right in the middle that's going to display everything and then there will, the whole bed will be all welded as one piece. The bed will be welded together. There will be no tailgate anymore. It will be one round piece basically and then we'll kind of have a triangle uh, section in the middle uh, with a rectangle glass window. So it'll look pretty cool when it's done. Anyway, that's it for tonight's video. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. And also post a comment down below of what you guys are working on kind of what your projects are. It's, it's interesting to kind of see what other people are working on, what they're doing. Uh, I talked to a guy the other day, had an S10 that he was building, and he shared me some pictures on email. And it's really cool to kind of see the process of what we're doing kind of help other people out. So put, post a comment down below what you guys are working on, or whatever it may be. I'd like to chat with you about it. So talk to you later. See you. Bye.